Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters in Christ, evening, morning, and guests. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. It is time for the Washroom Report. Hello, everybody. First of all, the gospel, the truth, the good news. Christ was crucified for the sins of man, exactly as the scriptures proclaim. And God the Father raised him from the dead on the third day, as the scriptures proclaim. That is the only way to the kingdom of God, heaven, paradise, period, okay? It's by his holy blood that he shed on Calvary's cross on our sin debt. Put your faith, hope, love, and trust in the King of Kings, for he is coming, and he is coming quickly to remove his believers, his followers, off the face of this earth. Okay, let's get into some news. Amen? A lot has happened since Friday. Wow. And I haven't even really gotten into today's news. Okay? Been looking, been watching. Y'all know me. I'm... I'm on it, but I'm telling you what. Okay, let's see if I can stop this from going anywhere. Okay, this was reported um, three days ago. Two Russian oligarchs found dead along with their wives and their children one day apart. Okay? All of them, the whole family, gone. Both of both the families. They were not, they did not know one another or anything like that, okay? Gone. <laughs> Indonesia bans edible oil exports. Sparks mayhem as the global food crisis is happening, okay? This is all coming out. This is the book of revelation unfolding before your eyeballs the revelation of jesus christ the lord what he said would happen plus there's many prophetic events that are also in the mix um then the rocker rockefeller foundation uh president starts countdown until all hell breaks loose the rockefellers you can't be serious. Epitome of evil wickedness. A mysterious flying whirlpool in the sky over Hawaii that was caught on video. Okay? They're saying, I'm going to click on it. They're saying that it came from Elon Musk's star whatever yeah the dragon spacex dragon Let's see if i can show it to you but it freaked people out okay yeah speaking of the musk the musketeer <laughs> yeah Okay, he is bought the bluebird chirp chirp. Okay, Neuralink, anyone? You know, he came out with the idea, you know, let's just put a chip in everybody's brain. Okay, Revelation, it's, it's happening. If you receive the mark of the beast to be able to buy or sell, Or play on this okay your soul will be damned to hell and that's not me that's the Word of God anybody who takes the mark of the beast period okay then this happened the EU reaches deal on digital services act for making the internet a safer space by requiring 
social media platforms to more aggressively police their platforms than ever before. Also, uh, Israel, coordinator of government operations in the occupied territories following the firing of rockets from the Gaza Strip on Sunday. It also happened on Saturday. There were some rockets. They closed the Rez Crossing. Uh, I've heard now today, I believe they've reopened it so that workers can uh, go into uh, their places of employment. Okay. This was Israel forces used drones to drop tear gas on Palestinians at the Alaska uh, compound. To disperse rioters, they said worshippers, okay, because it's coming out of the other side now. <laughs> Good. Gunmen opened fire on a car carrying a senior Revolutionary Guards commander in uh, southwestern Iran, killing a bodyguard. Okay. Four minors were arrested for rioting in Umm al-Fam overnight. This would have been uh, Friday night, but I've seen it on Saturday, okay? Um, police say the protest was apparently in solidarity with those who confronted police on the Temple Mount on Friday. Let's move on. An instructor pilot from the 11th Tactical Fighter Squadron uh, filmed formation flight of five fighter, fighter jets of the Iranian Air Force during the Army Day Parade um, over south of Tehran. Um, the formation consisted of an F-4E an F-5E uh, Sega and an F-5F Kauser and an F-14A Tomcat and a MiG 29UB. Amsterdam's uh, Schiphol Airport urged travelers to stay away as a strike by ground personnel at the start of a school holiday causes complete chaos is at Europe's third busiest airport. Okay. A tour boat with 26 missing in Japan after distress call. Game wardens find almost 400 illegal shark fins in a Texas seafood restaurant. Somalia's extremist bomb restaurant in the capital. This would be Al Shabaab. Um, there was at least six dead in uh, Mogadishu. Uh, the attack was near uh, the beach, okay? 
<laughs> coming out of California police, a man bites and stabs a canine dog. Yeah. Four shot randomly by sniper in D.C. Suspect dies by suicide. I slam anybody. Yeah. And Putin was to meet with UN Chief uh, Antonio Guterres in Russia this week. And Krasnodar Prey uh, Cuban Dam collapsed near this village in Russia. While he may still be found, because once the trump of Almighty God sounds, the dead in Christ will rise, and we who are alive and remain shall be caught up with the Lord, and forever we shall be with him. Then, there's a new Ebola outbreak has been declared by the Republic of Congo. Then... Yeah, this was all on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, but the majority of these were on Saturday, the 23rd, which is actually, you know, one of those numbers, 23, 32, that they like to do their wickedness. An explosion at a Nigerian, at Nigerian illegal oil refinery kills more than 100. A ship carrying diesel fuel just sinks off of Ecuador, Ecuador's Galapagos Islands. Then, coming out of Lebanon, a boat carrying 60 people just sank in front of the port city of Tripoli. Okay? And this comes out of the Wall Street Journal. Ever tried a lab-grown chicken sandwich? Upside Foods, which raised $400 million, is one of several startups hoping to gain U.S. regulatory approval for lab-grown meat products. Frankenfood. No, thank you. I'm good. And in case you missed it, a man described as mentally unstable, attacked a priest with a knife in a church in Nice, France. A leopard attacks a policeman in a city of northern Iran, sparking panic among local residents before the animal was captured. Jordan's King Abdullah went to Cairo on Sunday and had trilateral talks with Pharaoh's El Sisi, Egypt, and the Emirati Prince Zaid. Okay? Rescuers searching for miners who went missing in an accident in the south of Poland, this was on Sunday, uh, find one dead while nine others were remained missing. And North Korea state media trumpets how the country has gained an invincible power that the world cannot ignore and no one can touch under Kim Jong-un an apparent reference to its nuclear weapons as they held their military holiday in Pyongyang. And Russia 
is threatening nuclear war as well and Iran as well. And this was also reported on Sunday. Unknown individuals shot past residential houses in neighborhood 12 in Brehat, the Gaza envelope. Damage was done to homes. This was shortly after the end of the visit and the assessment of the situation conducted by the chief of police, Superintendent Yakov Shabtai. Then, also, the monument, which was erected in Hebron in memory of Mordecai and Shalom Lapid, were killed in a terrorist attack in 93, uh, has become a mound of dirt. The Palestinians claim that the monument was accidentally demolished by a contractor working in the area. They called for the monument to be rebuilt. The successors of the murderers arrived like thieves in the night. Interesting wording, isn't it? Then also, Foreign Minister Yair Lapid told a briefing to foreign reporters that in the last three weeks, a dangerous attempt has been made in Jerusalem, emphasizing Israel has allowed hundreds of thousands of Muslims to ascend the Temple Mount during Ramadan, despite provocations by terrorist organizations. We have no intention of changing the status quo on the mountain, he said. <sighs> the operation involved at least four MH-60M Blackhawk and two MH-47G uh, uh, Chinook Special Op helicopters of the U.S. Army's 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment. The helicopters airlifted the Delta special forces who arrested commanders of IRGC, Quds Force, and Katabi of Hezbollah. Yeah, that happened on Sunday. Then, Israel's Cyber Directorate issues annual warning ahead of Iran's, what they called, Jerusalem Day, okay? And yesterday, an IDS spokesperson, a short time ago, one launched, was identified from Lebanese territory to Israel territory that fell in open territory in accordance with the Home Front Command uh, policy. No warning was activated. They used a widget uh, but it did not come through the uh, Red Kumta alerts, okay? Yeah, we're getting fire now from Tyr, Lebanon, Zechariah 9, Zephaniah 2. Um, those are two prophecies as well that um, Tyr and Sidon would be taken out of the way and then Gaza... Uh, Ashkelon, Ashdod, and uh, Ashkelon would just be in total fear over it, okay? And their hopes would be dashed, okay? There were two explosions heard near Shlomi on the Lebanese border, according to residents in the area. Cause unknown. Well, we know the cause, okay? IDF forces, in response to the projectile launch from Lebanon into northern Israel earlier tonight, which that was uh, Monday, uh, late Sunday night, I believe, IDF artillery forces currently targeted the source of the launch in Lebanon, and they shot into tear, okay? Clashes between rival groups in Sudan's uh, Dafar region killed at least 160 people. Okay, now Sudan is part of the Ezekiel 38 war. 
okay? And it was also reported, I couldn't find it, but I heard through the grapevine that uh, Russia uh, last evening bombed in Aleppo, Syria. That's your far north uh, western portion, okay? And yesterday reported Hezbollah affiliated media reported nine shells were fired into southern Lebanon so far and the reports regarding 50 uh, only seem to be posted by Israeli media. So who knows how many were actually fired. And yesterday a car drove into a crowd at an Oslo motor show, injuring at least six people who were rushed to hospital, among them children. Yesterday, IDF says it struck an area in Lebanon from which a rocket was launched at Israel um, on uh, Monday night with artillery fire. It added that the infrastructure was also hit rocket landed near the northern town of Mazuva and caused no damage or injuries. Yeah, what a time to be alive, amen? IDF spokesman Brigadier General Ran Kachab about the rocket fire from Lebanon. Quote, it is estimated that these are Palestinian factions and this is related to the Ramadan period and the events of the Temple Mount. Okay. And yeah, here it is from yesterday. Russia's uh, foreign mis uh, minister, Sergei Lavrov, says, quote, the danger of a nuclear war is serious. It is real. It cannot be underestimated. And four hours ago, this came out. Listen to this. Condemnations in the coalition government, Israel, uh, for the letter of threats that have been coming in against Bennett, a bullet in an envelope can turn into three bullets from a gun. So now they are being threatened. Then we got Robo Burger. Yeah, that's what I said. Robo Burger is a restaurant in Check Minute. this out. Meet Robo Burger, the world's first burger robot in a box. A robot chef that cooks fresh burgers to perfection. Mm. Robo Burger is a restaurant in miniature. It has an automated griddle, toaster, you can't make it up, y'all. All really? in just a 12 square foot format. Now you can get a freshly grilled burger at the press of a button in less Fresh. than six minutes. The robot uses a five step cooking process similar to what chefs use in a restaurant. The robo chef grills the patty, toasts the bun, dispenses the selected. This ain't the Jetsons. Hey, Amen. Unbelievable. Then, what else was there? Oh, yes. This happened. He's holding up. It's a priest holding up. Harry Potter. Got a newsflash. There will be no witchcraft or sorcery and those who practice these things voodoo any of it will be in the kingdom of god then 
this guy here, Minister Kahana out of Israel, he received a voice message, quote, that your children will be orphans The time of Jacob's trouble is banging on the door. I love you guys. Stand strong in the faith. No abjays. No venom oil. No. We're going home. Praying for everybody. And I know y'all are praying for me. Update on my grandson, our grandson, Michaela. Um, still has not awakened. Okay. Um. They are looking to move him uh, to the mainland. Uh, they are trying to find him a place. I just want to pray, and please pray with me, that they don't send him to California. And those of y'all who live in California, you know what I, why I'm saying these things. Those, okay, nothing against the state of California, but the leaders there. And those who think it's okay, now they passed a a new law, okay, across this land, uh, not just California, um, AB something, something, you know, that gives people the right to murder their babies up to two years of age. Now, abortion wasn't good enough for them. No, the thief does come to kill, steal, and destroy, but I have come to bring life in all its abundance. Christ Jesus is the Lord. Maranatha.